What's up guys and welcome to Little Big Planet PSP. I never thought that would come out of my mouth here on the channel because this is the only Little Big Planet game we have not made at least one video on. We've done videos on all three Little Big Planet games, Little Big Planet PS Vita, and even Sackboy Run, Sackboy, whatever it's called. But this is the only one we've never done and we're finally able to do it. We're gonna be playing through the entire story mode throughout September, so all of that back to school goodness will hopefully be softened by this series. I hope you enjoy. If you do enjoy this series and this first episode, make sure to give some support, leave a like, leave a comment, letting me know you're excited to see this because that support really, really does help and reminds me to post this series as much and as often as I can. And yeah, I mean, a lot of people have been asking for more Little Big Planet content. I've had this in the works for a long time. I haven't played this game in like four or five years. I am so pumped. So let's go ahead and get started with Little Big Planet PSP. Ideas. What happens to our ideas once our minds have summoned them into existence? They rise up like balloons caught in a summer breeze. They scale our cerebrumbilical cords, those magnificent invisible conduits connecting our brains to the imagisphere. There, they collect grow, intertwine, prosper, and form another world. No matter what trivialities the waking world throws at us, our ideas keep coming and adding to that world. A solitary notion on the bus, a random thought in the street, a surreal brainwave in a shop. Little Big Planet. Come in and make yourself at home. Well, look at how pixely we are, oh my gosh. Oh, we're going up, where are we going? Oh, hello. On Little Big Planet, you become a delightful little sack person. This is you. Me! Your analog stick is your advancing implement. It moves you through the levels of the speed best suited to you. An ability to jump so high you defy the laws of gravity is a must-have accessory in Little Big Planet, and your action button will furnish you with this. Give the action button a short, sharp stab for a modest hop, or a hard, lingering press for a big boy bouncy bound. Fly, my pretty one. <laughs> I just love how Stephen Fry is in every Little Big Planet game. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. Man, I have missed this game. I have not played it in like half a decade. With special thanks. Yeah, this was made by PlayStation Cambridge. This was for the PlayStation Portable, not the PlayStation Vita. That's an entirely different game if you don't know. This is the console that predated the PS Vita. It came out way back in like, what, 2006? Jeez, I'm old. I can feel the gray hairs coming in right now. Luckily, since I'm a zebra, they sort of max in pretty well, but. Oh my gosh, I love intros so much like this. Oh man, because it's so similar to Little Big Planet 1, and obviously that one is like the closest to my heart. Oddly enough, Little Big Planet PSP is the one I've played the least out of every single Little Big Planet game, so this is going to be really fresh for me, which I'm really excited about. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. It's going to be a little bit different, because you know, every other Little Big Planet game I've played on the channel, like, except for Little Big Planet 3, I played that like the first time as soon as it came out, but all the other Little Big Planet games, I played them knowing them by heart, you know? So this is going to be a bit different. So let's see what's going on here. Now we're gonna find out how to dress ourselves up here. There are now more happy sack personages gadding about Little Big Planet than a 900 year old hot dinner monster has had hot dinners. So you're going to need to stand out from the crowd and customize yourself. Press the menu button to access your poppet. Your poppet is your bestest ever chum. It's always there when you need it. So let me introduce you to this most useful bit of gizmotastic kit, then. Use the analog stick to go through the various icons on the pop-it menu. Press action to choose one. For now, select Customize Character. This takes you to your Customize Character pages. 
Oh, a quick tip. Did you know that you can use the page buttons to quickly jump from one page to the next? The customised character pages are a veritable walk-in wardrobe of styles and looks the modern sack person needs to stand out from the crowd. Use the analogue stick to select an ensemble that not only takes your fancy, but makes you fancy. This is your little big boutique, an enchanted emporium of attire. To get out of Pop It, just press the back button. It'll take you back a level. Then press it again to close it completely. All right then, so, good old Pop It. Now there should be a zebra costume in PSP. Ooh, here's the zebra skin. We're gonna see if we can't find it, because I don't think it was in, like I don't know if it's in the story mode, like a Little Big Planet 1. I think you can only get it through like DLC. It's really weird, because it's not on the store anymore, but if you look at the like Little Big Planet, like website listing, it lists it as like a DLC. So I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to be our Zebratastic selves. I mean, at the least, we can look a little Zebratastic with the skin, but besides that, I'll smack on some glasses that, okay, I, I'm, I don't look like Harry Potter, so I don't I don't think we need that. I think we'll just keep with this for now. Um, if we can find more zebra parts, we'll definitely throw them on, but for right now, it looks like this is how we're gonna keep it. I mean, it's still pretty Zebratastic. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. So let's keep going on. And I don't know if you can actually move your hands around in this game. That might not be now, a feature. On the face of it, your average sack boy is an emotionless looking little critter, isn't he? Well, you can't really judge a book by its cover because quite the opposite is true. By using your directional buttons, you can give your sack boy a range of emotions your average soap opera actor would kill for. Pressing the up button will make Sackboy happy. Hooray! The left button will make him scared. Oh. The right button will make him angry. Arr. The down button will make him sad. Oh. By pressing the directional buttons multiple times, you can make Sackboy even happier, or even more scared, angry, and sad. And if you hold the L button down and press the directional buttons, Sackboy will become full of life. Gracious hellos, wild celebrations, sultry dances, and even cheeky little taunts are all part of Sackboy's repertoire. Yes, Sackboy, we'll make an actor of you yet. Ooh, all right. So it looks like you can't actually, um, okay, I was waiting for the game to let me play. I don't think you actually have the ability to move your hands around in this game, but it looks like you have the ability to do some taunts. This is also the only Little Big Planet game where there's no active multiplayer. You can play other people's levels, but you can't play them with other people. Unfortunately, the online mode for this game was taken down at the beginning of August. It's gone forever, unfortunately. There's no way to play online levels anymore, but the story mode is pretty great in this game, so I can't wait. In Little Big Planet, every day is International Sticker Day. Sack people put stickers on walls, buildings, creatures, creations, you name it. We're sticker mad up here. To join the sticker fun, press the menu button to bring up Pop It and go to your stickers page. Look at the vast array of sticky sticking stickers available. Pick one with the analog stick. Select it with the action button. Now, let's stick it to something. Move it around the world using the analog stick, like this. Holding down the L button will allow you to scale and rotate your sticker with the analog stick. Up and down to make it bigger or smaller. Left and right to rotate it. Then stick it down with the action button, which you can do as many times as you want. The back button gets you back to your poppet, where you choose another sticker. Keep hitting the back button to get out of sticker mode and your poppet. Stickers. Couldn't you just kiss them? Uh, it depends on where you put the sticker. <laughs> All right then, so it looks like we could, we could put a stack a Sackboy sticker right here and put, give him a little bit of his driver's license. I would not want to see a sack boy driving around. Now it works really weirdly here because of course the PSP only had one analog stick, so it's a little bit different. Approved, yay! <laughs> we did nice and well there, so we didn't get anything out of it, but it's a tutorial, so there's, I don't think there's a way to not 100% it. What is happening down here? Import arrival. Oh, I guess because we're in a box, I get it, all right. This is cool, oh, I like all the photos. 
<laughs> is that like Mario 64? Can I hop through them and go to another world? No? Oh, oh no, another, what is with this game and elevators? Whoa, whoa, and here we are, hey! So there you go, there's the tutorial. Hooray, Little Big Planet. It's weird, because the game refers to itself as Little Big Planet, but it's actually Little Big Planet PSP. Like, the story mode is completely different from Little Big Planet 1, so don't worry about that. This is a brand new adventure. Ah, at last. We've been expecting you. Welcome to Little Big Planet. You know, every living creature in the Omniverse has the creative gene. And when you visit Little Big Planet, the imaginatively charged atmospherics zap that gene into action. Your mind goes into make and do mode. And when you've built something, created a puzzle, or made a machine, or devised a brand new level, your brain shifts into the next stage of the creative process, the showy off, look what I can do stage. And why not? We are all aching to see what a keen mind like yours can come up with. But if your creative gene isn't zapped straight away, and you just want to have a wander about to admire what your fellow little big planitians have created, then that's fine and dandy too. So, what are you waiting for? Because little big planet is waiting for you. Ooh, here we go. So, we can go ahead and get started with the story levels now. We might visit little big planet when the whim takes us, but there are characters and creatures that are always there. The creator curators. They build and maintain Little Big Planet when you're off doing whatever it is you do when you're not here, and a spiffing job they make of it too. You begin your fantastic journey in the land down under, a mysterious and spiritual realm that predates linear time and is tended by a wise old sage who is said to be the keeper of the very first Little Big Planet idea. Select this creator curator by pressing the action button. They're all very friendly chaps, so don't forget your manners. Make sure you say hello. All right then, so why don't we go ahead and click this and find out what's inside the down under. Keep an eye out for these things. Little Big Planet seals. They're kind of map references, if you like. They indicate somewhere wonderful a creator curator has made for you. Just select a seal with your action button and you'll be there quicker than you can say, I wonder what this does. All right then, so in the next episode, episode two of Little Big Planet PSP, we'll be going in to Walkabout. We're gonna be doing it just like we have story modes for almost every other Little Big Planet game, two levels at a time, so that's gonna start in the next episode. Today, we're just getting the tutorial done. But yeah, next episode should probably be out tomorrow, but I'm just so excited for that. But for now, it won't even let us exit to our pod. I'm gonna say thank you guys so much for watching, reiterate some of the things I said at the beginning. Thank you guys so much for your support through all the Little Big Planet games. My channel wouldn't be what it is today without you guys, and that's why I wanted to do this series no matter what. I actually bought a PS Vita TV thing just for this series. So I hope you guys do enjoy it. It's gonna be fun all throughout the month of September playing this game. It shouldn't be like the longest series ever, but it should be nice and fun. And I've been anticipating it all year long. I've been trying to work towards getting some room made to make this series happen. And this has been the month to do it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this first episode, like I said already, make sure to give it a like, share it with your friends and family. And of course, comment in the comment section below. If you watch this part of the video, make sure you comment portable zebra. So I know you've watched the end of the video and that you're a zebra-tastic viewer. But on the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.